Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. For many of us, Halloween is one of the most exciting days of the year. Who doesn't love dressing up, going to parties, and eating candy? While Halloween may be all fun and games for people, this holiday poses several threats to our feline friends. Believe it or not, most of these dangers are in your own home. So to help spread awareness, we've compiled a list of the top 5 Halloween dangers for cats. But before we get started, please click that like button because it helps other cat lovers find our content. And we want to make sure important information like this helps as many cats as possible. Alright, now on to the list. Number 1. Candy. Toxic ingredients in candy can pose a significant health risk to your cat. However, it may provide some relief to know that they cannot actually taste sweetness. According to Bond Vet, cats only have 470 taste buds, which varies drastically from 1,700 in dogs and 9,000 in humans. None of those 470 taste buds can taste sweetness. While that may seem like your cat won't be interested in candy, cats are naturally curious creatures. If they see you eating some yummy Halloween candy, they may feel enticed to have some as well. Keep your cat away from candy, specifically those sweetened with xylitol, as it is particularly toxic. Xylitol can cause liver damage, hypoglycemia, seizures, and even death in cats. Chocolate is equally toxic for your cat. As a rule of thumb, generally the darker the chocolate, the more toxic it is. Chocolate contains a chemical compound called theobromine, which is also present in caffeine. Though we as humans can metabolize theobromine, cats cannot. Keep your cat away from chocolate, and if you think your cat has ingested some, stay alert for signs of poisoning. According to PetMD, clinical signs of chocolate toxicity in cats can include vomiting, diarrhea, decreased appetite, excessive thirst, restlessness, panting, rapid breathing, muscle tremors, seizures, and even comas. Candy wrappers and sticks are also dangerous for your cat to get into. Cats don't know the difference between candy outside of the wrapper versus inside. All they smell is a treat. According to Pet Poison Helpline, the ingestion of foil or cellophane wrappers can cause life-threatening obstructions in the bowels. Stay on the lookout for signs that your cat may have swallowed a wrapper or stick. This can include vomiting, decreased appetite, inability to defecate, or lethargy. In severe cases, ingesting a wrapper can require corrective surgery. Keep candy, chocolate, and wrappers away from your cat on Halloween by keeping candy and sweets in a secure place. This can be on top of your fridge, in the pantry, or just hidden away in another room. If you suspect your cat has ingested any of the previously mentioned substances, call the Pet Poison Helpline or take your cat to the nearest 24-hour emergency veterinarian hospital. Number 2. Pet Costumes Costumes can cause stress and discomfort for your cat. Ultimately, you know your cat best, and some may be more lax about wearing a costume than others. However, they can still pose a danger to your cat. According to PetMD, trying to put a costume on your cat can add to their stress levels on a holiday that may already confuse them. If you put a costume on your cat and they freeze up or walk uncomfortably, they are most likely stressed. Certain costumes can also pose a threat of choking with buttons and bells and strings. To make matters worse, your cat may choke on a piece of the costume while trying to get it off. Keep your cat out of costumes with small, ingestible pieces that can break off. Costumes can also impair visibility and ease of comfort and mobility. This can make your cat wildly uncomfortable and stress them out even further. Some costumes are dangerous for your cats, like ones with masks or headpieces. For example, a costume with wigs or hats can hinder their visibility and even their breathing. Cats do not naturally keep things on their heads and it may stress them out, which can cause frantic attempts to remove what's on their head or face. If the costume hinders their ability to see, it can cause them to run into things or hurt themselves. Remember that cats rely on their vision to move, see, and feel at ease. Instead of keeping your cat confined to a costume, opt for a festive collar or a pet bandana instead. Anything with pumpkins, broomsticks, witches hats, or creepy creatures on it will let your cat participate in the festivity without the confinement of a costume. This way your cat can thoroughly enjoy the holiday right by your side. When shopping for a collar, just make sure it's a breakaway collar, which is much safer than a traditional collar. A breakaway collar has a clasp that is released quickly whenever there is a forceful pull. If a cat's breakaway collar gets caught on something, the quick release feature can save them from choking to death. Number 3. Windows and Doors Cats can dart out if they get startled by the festivities of the night. If your cat escapes, they will feel wildly confused and can even get hurt. 
On a night where everyone is walking around in strange costumes, where there's loud noises and decorations, your cat can get easily overwhelmed. Black cats are the most at risk here since false perceptions of them can cause them to get chased off or seriously injured. For those who are unfamiliar, black cats are sadly associated with bad luck or evil in some cultures. Though pranks occur throughout the year, someone seeing your black cat on Halloween night may cause them to play a sick trick. Tricksters, pranksters, or even unassuming children can cause harm by messing with your cat, such as feeding them candy or chasing them off. If they escape, festivities occurring in your neighborhood can overwhelm and confuse them. Things like lights, jump scare decorations, noises, and strangers in costumes can be overwhelming to your cat. Though we associate decorations and trick-or-treaters with the spirit of Halloween, your cat won't. Too many strangers coming to your door can also stress them out. Even the most social cat can still be confused and overwhelmed. Make sure your cat is wearing proper identification and keep them locked away from the festivities. And be sure to close all doors and windows to avoid an escape. Again, you know your cat best and some may be perfectly fine with the holiday and want to say hi to the trick-or-treaters. For their safety, keep them indoors in the days leading up to Halloween and get them established with a routine. Spoil them with food puzzles and their favorite treats to keep them occupied. If your cat is particularly nervous or anxious, consider keeping them in a room hidden away from all the action with their favorite things. Wait until the holiday is over and get them back on their normal routine. Number 4. Decorations String, tinsel, streamers, yarn, and lights can all pose a risk to your cat. Things like fake spider webs can be dangerous if ingested or if your cat gets caught in them. Cats have a tendency to explore things with their paws and mouths. Getting caught or ingesting decorations can cause blockages of their intestines or restrict their breathing. Some can even be toxic. Electrical cords and light-up decorations pose a significant dangerous threat to your cats as well. Chewing on electric cords can electrocute them, resulting in significant injury or even death. Aside from the obvious, a chewed or broken electrical cord can also start a house fire. Your cat can also get tangled in cords, which can cause strangulation or injury. Jack-o'-lanterns, pumpkins, and candles can also cause harm to your cat. Though cooked and canned pumpkin can be a staple in your cat's diet, the stems or skin of a pumpkin can upset their stomachs. Also, a spoiled pumpkin can cause digestive upset that can lead to a trip to the vet. If you want to learn more about the benefits and risks of pumpkin, you can check out our video titled Can Cats Eat Pumpkin? Candles are also dangerous since your cat can rub up against them or knock them over, resulting in either pain, severe burns, or potential house fires. With that said, ditch the real candles and keep spoiled pumpkin away from your cats. Keep the cords and lights tucked away from your cat in a secure, safe place. Keep your cat away from the fake spider webs and yarn for their own safety, no matter how much fun they think it looks. As you can gather by now, though decorations are one of the hallmarks of Halloween, certain ones can result in serious injury. Instead, opt for fun, festive alternatives such as their own spooky cat toys for the holiday. Number 5. Strangers Trick-or-treaters can startle your cat with loud noises and confusing costumes. Even if you regularly have people over and your cat is a social butterfly, excessive amounts of children and people coming to your door may spook them. People dressed up in costumes, even in the name of holiday fun, can startle your cat and may even prompt them to make a break for it. As mentioned earlier, pranksters can specifically act on false black cat superstitions. Though cats in general, and specifically black cats, have been falsely associated with witchcraft throughout the centuries, some of these false beliefs are still perpetuated today, especially around Halloween. As we mentioned in our previous video about black cats, there is a long and disturbing history of black cats used as live decorations or even ritual sacrifice. This is why it's best to keep black cats indoors during the spooky season. But even if your cat has a fur color other than black, it is still a good idea to keep them indoors during Halloween. Though there may not be any twisted tricksters in your neighborhood, children shouting at or approaching your cat, even just to say hi, can scare them off on top of all the stressful decorations and costumes. Your cat can have a fun holiday by playing with a food puzzle or toy in your home while you pass out candy. All in all, Halloween is a wonderful holiday filled with treats and friendly spooks and scares. Just remember that your cat can enjoy the holiday from the safety of your home with fun treats, toys, and a festive collar. So please keep your cat safe this Halloween season by keeping them indoors. You can also help to keep cats safe by spreading the word about these dangers. One way to do that is by sharing this video. Finally, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on another cat video. 
Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catterday for another video.